hello guys welcome so you guys made the chase seems to be in a little bit of trouble from her in-laws now some of these in-laws are like me you're disappointing us after everything that we did for you after how we stood by you when you literally was doing you how he was doing you you know embarrassed you publicly we stood by you how come it's now you know that people have actually believed in you and what you said you wanted to do now it seems like we saw you and um, you holding hands he came for your party who invited him for your party you know or for your charity event he came and he was trying to be all huggy huggy may edoche some of the in-laws have said that they are disappointed in her and i have a lot to say about this for those who have watched my videos for a while, you know that I always say Me Edoche will do what Me Edoche needs or wants to do. We can only talk, people online can only talk about um, whatever they think they want to talk about, but May will be the one to make the final decision as regards her life. Emphasis on her life. You understand? So, yes. So, the in laws or the online in laws who are actually angry with me are divided into two different parts. A group of them are angry because they felt like me was giving them hope to live abusive relationships, to live abusive marriages and all that. Another batch are the people that feel like, okay, me, why have you been wasting our time? You know you didn't want to leave. You know you didn't want to um, go away from this situation. Now you have been pretending. You are actually now intoxicated with this whole attention you get online. Those are the two groups of people that are actually um, in-laws. Let me talk about the people, the second batch, who feel like May has been wasting their time and who feel like May is actually doing too much. She's not the first person that um you um, her husband has gotten married to a second wife. I saw a lot of comments on the internet. I'm going to read some of them. This person actually came out to say that she should leave the marriage if she doesn't want to and stop creating a scene every minute. Annie Dibia Pro Max. So basically, if you don't know, it means like, oh, she try, likes to be in toxic situations, you know, never getting out, just really staying there for whatever reason it might be for Annie. Annie said it's love. For May, they feel like she just cannot leave. Another person said that May is always dramatic, you know, and that Yul has been trying to defend her and trying to look for her face all the while. That's making her misbehave. Um, I know they fear small shall. It's making her misbehave and um, she's doing too much at this point. So this person said that um, leave Yul and his family alone. How do you know that May is not happy? You know, um, and I feel like you can know if somebody is not happy. That's one. I'm not. I'm not for that one. You can know if somebody is not happy. When you guys came out to say that Mrs. Chiwon was too happy in quotes, you understand? How do you know that she was too happy? Because the happiness shows. Happiness does not hide. If somebody is happy, you know. If somebody is not happy, you know. They know they hide and for inside bottle. You understand? So we can all see that May is not was not the best um version of herself when you was on stage with her. Whether it was real, whether it was not real, but from what we could have seen, she wasn't happy. She had she, in fact nobody that this kind of thing happened to that happened to her would be happy. So it's not like she's going to be um hailing um you Odogu Odogu when he comes like Odogu take um eat your food. Odogu no, she she probably won't be doing that. So this one said, um, may this, may that, if may no one marry again, make sure they go house and beg. Another person said that um, she should forget about these online in-laws that claim that they love her and face her family. Okay, you cannot say that you've claimed that he loved her and did stuff that didn't show that he loved her. And the other auntie that said um, she should leave the house if she's not happy. Mm -mm, we're not there anymore. In this age and time, you'll be shocked at how many women join money to build the homes that they live with their husbands. So it's not those days again where you just, because a man built the house single-handedly or whatever, um, or maybe the woman does not have any proof that she built the house too. The man will now say, oh, you said you don't want to go do it again. Yeah, carry your bags and go. <laughs> they don't need to chase women out like that anymore. So auntie, she doesn't have anywhere to go. That house is her house. So she will stay there if she wants to stay there. So now, um, let me address the other batch of disappointed in-laws association. Those ones that feel like um, May has disappointed them and they were looking up to May to make that big move so that they too will make the big move in their marriages, in their relationships. Don't do it. Do not do that. It is not good for you. A lot of us do not know me. A lot of you online don't know me. Who probably never come in contact with me. You do not know me's full story. You get. And me does not know your full story. If you know in your heart of heart that that pain you are going through, your heart cannot handle anymore. See, I always say this. That most times people say, oh, um, but it's not as bad. People don't understand what emotional abuse can cost anybody. They don't know. Because if you, you see women... Um, sad you see women um aggressive and everything or you see a man aggressive you don't know what he's going through in his house you don't know what his wife is doing to him or what his husband or what her husband is doing to her you understand and you feel like oh she her husband is doing her well no you don't know 
So that is why you cannot compare your story to May's story. If you know that you need to leave that place you are in, if you know that you need to leave that situation, that marriage, that um, relationship, if you know that you are done, because May doesn't, you don't understand what May is doing right now with you, does not mean that you need to stay, you need to linger, waiting on May. May's situation is peculiar, yours is peculiar. So don't be waiting on another person to save your life. Because if anything, for any reason happens to you, trust me that we might not even hear about it. Because we heard about Osinachi's own. May is popular. You, sorry, we don't know you. I mean that in every good way. We don't know you. So if it happens, in fact, we've seen cases where they said, oh, her husband beats a wife and their wife um, ends in the hospital. They will not even say that it was the beating that made the wife go. They won't say that. They will say maybe she fell off the stairs. She did this. They will, nobody will talk about the details of what happened. They might even talk about it. The families will come and beg and they will forget about it. So that might be your case. So, so don't stay because uh, you think May is not living. And that is why I always find it um, sad, because that's the word, I'm always so sad when I see these general advices online. Oh, women should not leave because their husband is cheating. Don't leave a cheating man. Every man, which you don't say that. We've seen cases where um, because a man went out, infected his wife, they infected their child with whatever big virus, whatever big disease that the husband brought out, brought back home. So an innocent child that is to be born, that did not even know anything, will now carry a disease because the husband or the, the father is wandering. He's moving everywhere. And you think that the pain of maybe the woman seeing the child go through that kind of sickness that the child did not deserve because the father will not sit at a place. Don't tell people not to leave because a man is cheating. Everybody has what they can handle. You get. Don't tell people, oh, cheating is too small to leave. African men are polygamous in nature and all that stuff. So what I'm just saying here is that you might be disappointed because you are probably um, feeling this pain for me. Your pain is your pain. May's pain is her pain. May will choose what she thinks. What she thinks is best for her. You, what you are going to do today after listening to this video is do what you, you know is best for you. Regardless of May, if May never came out, if May's situation was never public, you probably will not be looking for who to hold on to, to give you the morale to live. In fact, you will know what to do inside your heart, not May. May will not tell you every detail of what is happening. May will not tell you what they have discussed inside the house. She's very private as you can see. But you know your own pain, no? Your pain is not related to May's pain. It might be peculiar, but it's not related to May's pain. Your pain is your pain. So I'm really sad that we have women who are actually waiting on May to take a decision, for them to take a decision. Ah, ah, family members need to do better because I don't know. I feel like family is something that um, encourages you, helps you out of your worst moment. You understand? And for people to be looking for outsiders to make a decision before they put their life first bothers me. It really bothers me. And that is why after reporting this May and use matter for months, I cannot be disappointed about whatever decision that May takes. I know that it's her life to live. I can just wish that maybe she did something better. You know, I can wish that, ah, I wish she did the other thing. But disappointed, not on this side. You understand? That is why you too should not be... Because I see people crying more than the victim. You know, I know that you wish her well, but the whole thing for you to do for her right now is to hope that she takes the right decision. Not be disappointed by the one that she took. Mm -mm. As in, I don't get it. And most times I realize that that disappointment or those disappointments that you feel is not because of me. It's because of you. It's because of you. You know what you are feeling. So act on it and stop waiting for me because me might never tell us where her and you stand. We might never know. That's just the sad truth. But I want to know your thoughts are in the comment section. It's the Rostro and I thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Like it, like it, like it. Turn on the bell and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.